So the vaccines are being manufactured. It's now leaving the production center. Finally, the jabs being administered to the recipients. That will be the step on Saturday. India Today's Preeti Chaudhary explains the full circle. The means to an end, from manufacturing to finally a vaccine shot being administered. What is going to be the entire process? How will the vaccine actually reach you? Three phases it's divided in. So from manufacturer, the vaccine now will be transported through air towards primary vaccine stores. Now these stores are large places where the vaccine is to be stored and which are temperature controlled, which is extremely, extremely important. The four stores are located in Karnal, Mumbai, Chennai and Kolkata. Then in refrigerated vans, they are going to be taken, carried through to state vaccine centers. Once again, I can't stress enough when I talk about refrigerated vans because each vaccine has a different temperature it needs to be stored in and one cannot meddle in that. There are about 37 state vaccine stores in this country. They store vaccines in bulk and distribute it further. From there, these refrigerated vans will take vaccines to district vaccine centers. This is how it's going to be dispersed point by point. From the district centers, the vaccines will be transported to the primary health centers. So phase one is about transportation. Viewers, this is going to be the biggest vaccination drive in the history of mankind in India as well. So let's move on now to phase two. Next, there would be a vaccine carriers where the vaccine is going to be carried to sub-center session site. It is a center to break it down for you where vaccinations will be finally administered. This is where, viewers, you've seen on your television screen multiple uh, dry runs taking place. This is exactly what I'm talking about. The same place over here. Registration will take place. This can happen online too or through, most importantly, the CoWin app. Once your name is registered, you will be allocated a specific slot. Well, the fact that you have this app is there is no need to stand in queues. And finally, you will be vaccinated. Once again, phase two is all about identification and issuing of shots. All right, now comes phase three, an extremely crucial phase. In phase three, you will get an acknowledgement, an SMS on your telephone number, the number that you've registered through the COVID app. And a unique health ID is going to be generated, created. A QR code based digital certificate will be sent via the application to those who have been administered both doses of the coronavirus vaccine. Then there will be an AEFI. What does that mean? Adverse effects following immunization. Reporting, which means that if you have had an adverse reaction or an impact of the vaccine that can and should be reported is an inbuilt system. All this information will be available to the government and to you as well, as transparent as that. Conclusively, in phase three, post-vaccination follow-up will also take place. This is the entire comprehensive system of the vaccination trial. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.